I, I appreciate you getting on here. And I appreciate everybody getting on here. And I appreciate it, Mr. Cates. Good morning. I appreciate it if you get on here and you share my stream. If you'll share my stream, hey, listen up. If you'll share my stream, more people are likely to share your stream. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Do you want people to share your stream? Well, sure. Why? Get, so more people get to know who I am. More people get to know who you are. Hey, we got my old economics teacher on here, Mr. Cates. He's going to probably bust my balls about what I'm about to say. I didn't know Cause, Mr. Cates was real economics. Teacher. Yes, he is. Yes, yes, yes. He's going to get after me because <clears throat> what I've done, what I'm doing, probably does not make sense to economists, to people with economics. Because today what I'm specifically talking about, Blade, like I see you getting on here, girl. I see you. Hey. You having a good day today? Yeah. How good is your day? I heard you had lunch. You had lunch with my fiance yesterday. I did. Now, why was what was the purpose of that? Did you talk about me at all? Um, no. Did you tell her how great I am? <laughs> that was the no. That was not our topic. Okay. Well, huh? <laughs> I appreciate you getting on here. Have you shared the stream? Have you shared the love? Of course. Share the flow, and I'll give it back to you. Good morning, Candace. Okay, <clears throat> I don't know how many of you guys have followed my journey. I've, uh, I was really a solo entrepreneur, solo real estate. That ain't even a real entrepreneur. That's just a guy out, so that's a skill set, okay? That's a technician, that is not an entrepreneur. And I did this for 10 years, and then I hired my first person, Katrina. She came into my life and I saw something different. I saw, man, I'm working, let's just say 40 hours a week. Now I've got her, now I'm working 80 hours a week. I started to understand scale. Now, luckily for me, Katrina was a self-starter, okay? I didn't have to tell her to do anything. As a matter of fact, she came in and said, this is what we're doing. And I'm like, okay, this is good. I ain't got to do nothing. But, but see, she came to me, and, and we, she was close to being as good as I was. She wasn't as good as I was because she was brand new in the business, but uh, as she stayed here, I started seeing, man, look at this. I can grow. Well, that probably lasted for about three years. And at that time, I started understanding how I could make more money. But in order to be able to make more money, I had to invest in somebody else to help me make more money. So that was a risk. What if I paid this person? What if I was giving this person, but I wasn't making anything back? Luckily for me, the real estate recovery was going. We were starting to sell more houses. And I think our, uh, before Katrina, I was probably about a 40, 45 deal guy. That's about all I could sell <laughs> on my own. With her, we got to 65 deals. Then we, we, we kept growing, then 90, then we got to 100 deals. Okay. Well, then as I'm investing in myself during this time period, my expenses are getting a little bit bigger. My profit really was not growing, by the way. It was not, it was growing a little bit, but it was growing at a fraction of what the business was growing. The business revenue was really growing. But I'm like, man, I ain't making, I ain't making that much more money and I gotta deal with this, I gotta deal with this. Do I wanna even do this? There were so many nights where I had to overcome my emotions, my thoughts, and like, man, this sucks. This would be so much easier. Somebody just called and they're complaining about this or they're complaining about that. When I was doing this, I didn't get those complaints. Well, people were probably complaining about me, but they didn't have anybody to call and complain about me. You know what I'm saying? They were complaining about me. But, but you know, there's only one, there's only so much one person can do. So my hero, my mentor, John C. Jones, who has now beaten me in ping pong two times, See, he put this little curse on me, and I didn't know he was cursing me, but the curse was this. He made this look so easy, I thought, man, I can do this. He, he, he don't know what I know now. He's old. Game's passing him by. There's the new kid in town. John, here's what I want to do. I want to start my own little John Jones franchise, okay? And then during this time, you know, I had a little bit, I was starting to save a little money. You know, I could even pay my taxes on time. I could pay them quarterly if I had. So I was making money, saving a little bit of money. And uh, I, I thought, I went down to Florida. And I was around Michael Burt, 
Derek Gobb, when I was around these huge thinkers, and these guys all make over a million dollars a year, and I'm sitting there like, dang, they got a house. Bert's got a jet. He's got this. And you know, not, not that materialistic things matter, but I'm just seeing the, the amount of success they're having. And I'm embarrassed for me. I'm embarrassed for Brittany. She's got to be around these other people that get to do all these things. And I'm like, man, I I need to be doing better for her. I need to be doing better for my mom. So I call Kathleen. And I'm like, we're hiring. I'm going to send you this video. We put this video out there. And I said, uh, Nick, go here. And I'm going to throw you the ball. Happy late birthday, Cynthia Martin. So we put this video out, so we started hiring, and I thought, man, these people are gonna come here. We're taking this space. I had no rent at the time, none, no rent, hardly any expenses. And then the next thing I know, I committed to the space next door that's, it probably costs about $3,500 a month for all this stuff. I'd never had paid a, I never had a rent payment, commercial rent payment. I didn't know, but I, I obligated to, uh, to do it. Then Weatherman, hey dude, if we're gonna get big, we gotta pay for more leads. And I'm like, damn, man. So all this money's just gone. And then Creek's Bend, it took forever to get this subdivision rate. It's where so much of my income comes from. And it rained and it rained and I'm paying out all this stuff. So when I came over here, you know, I really had no debt. I was in pretty decent shape. And I'm just gonna be completely honest and transparent with everybody out there. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna get through this. So uh, I really want everybody, Jason Connor, what's up? I saw your post, man, I'm pulling for you. Hey, I'm having lunch with my boy Moondog today. I'm, uh, I'm pulling for you, Jason, to get back to the top of the leaderboard. So I've come over here, my money flattened out. Uh -huh. My expenses went up. So I had to like, pull out, I, I was paying stuff, uh, you know, I've got a credit line on a house I've got paid for, luckily. I did pay off a house. So I borrowed money on that. I can always go to that credit line. I bought a house to flip. Hey, remember, I mean, I was real nervous about, uh, about this house because it wasn't selling and I had all my money. I didn't have a loan on this house I bought. It's just, so I had no money. And dude, I was nervous. Kathleen's like, I don't know what's wrong with you, but you're not here. I'm like, shit, I'm going broke. That's what's wrong with me. <laughs> She's like, I don't even know where you are right now. I mean, who are you? I'm like, hey, well, what the hell, dude? It's like you've just kind of been a ghost floating around in here. What about? I was scared, but I believe no matter what, we're going to get through this. But I was uh, dazed and confused. Led Zeppelin. Just like that. So... So I got here, I'm listening to the weatherman. Weatherman is my guy that's like, dude, you can do this, man. You can do this, you can do this, you can do this. I'm like, I don't know, man. I, shit, I don't know if I can do this or not. Yeah, you can. So what I had to start doing was dipping into that credit line. Well, I, then I had to stop paying myself. So then I've got three credit cards. One of them is supposed to be uh, like for my taxes, for everything, lunch, dinner, all that stuff. Okay, then there's a business card for all the business expenses. I don't know why the hell I got this Chase card, Southwest. Maybe oh, we, needed a visa. we needed a visa. Hell, we got all of it. So had to pay. Yeah, so I've got all these things and I was paying. I was at one time, man, I was disciplined. Paid them all off. And you know, I wouldn't even tell Tim Dutton this right now because he's my financial coach. He would get after me so bad. So I hope he doesn't watch this. <laughs> Haven't told him this. So I would pay off these credit cards. And as I was doing that, those lines, hey, they just said, hey, dude, you got $5,000 more. You know, so so now I'm, I've made a commitment because we're starting to make money at the first year of February. Things are rolling in. I'm like, I'm going to pay these cards off. And I'm starting to pay the Southwest card off. Hey, it had like, I had, had like 20000 I may have had twenty grand. It was maxed out. I couldn't even buy any more shit because it was maxed out. I'm serious. So I paid it down. And then I'm like, I ain't buying nothing else. Then I met Cody Kearns. He's an Instagram phenom. I'm like, yeah, I'll do that. How much is it? Five grand. I'm like, okay. I think I had to move money to pay the car down so it would go on there. Okay? I ain't kidding you about, about how this was going. And in the meantime, I'm like, hey, man, I'm just going to keep believing. I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm going to ride this out. So we paid that. Then the Cardone Boot Camp came. I mean, that was a $10,000 trip. Do you know how much money I had? Really none. I mean, I could go get it out of like a savings account that 
I should never touch or more off that credit line that I shouldn't be using. But uh, this is what it's like if you want to grow. You've got to take risk, which means I'm going to take this money. I'm going to borrow this money. I'm going to invest this money so I can make more money. So what I've done is I've, I've bought Cody Kearns. That was a $5,000 clip. I went to the Cardone boot camp. was ten grand. And then when I'm at this camp, everybody's trying to get me to buy. Buy. They're like, hey, you need to buy this. You need to buy that. You need to buy this. I'm like, dude, I can't buy shit right now. Me and Brittany are going out to eat, and I'm like, man, I hope this card, do I need to see how much? So me and Kathleen got, before I went down there, we got the card down. Congratulations, Karyon. I shared your video this morning. Congrats. So, <laughs> so if you were to come in here right now and audit my, my stuff, you'd be like, you've got this card maxed. It's got about 20 grand on it. This card, I think the business card is down to maybe three grand. Then that Discover card is $20,000. So that's 20, 23, it's about 40 grand, I think, that I owe. It really isn't bad, because you don't have a... Hey! All of us have a personal debt, you just have business debt. Yeah, everything that I've invested is in the business or in getting better. Everything has gone into me getting better or, or investing in all of us, everything. So right now, now, Brittany, we're going to New York. Brittany wants a tiny home, vacation home. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, damn, how are we going to do all this? How would you feel if you owed $40,000 in credit debt, credit card debt, okay? This right here, I was over there and it used to be maybe $6,000 a month over there. Over here, it's like $20-something a month. Dave Robards from Grand Cardone's office called me yesterday to try to get me to buy this program. $6,000 down and it's $900 a month. I'm like, dude, I've got $7,000 right now. And the damn, I got to pay 20 something thousand dollars in April. That's for this every month. How do you do that? How do you overcome these things? I'm going to tell you how, how I do it. Who's got my $40,000? Who's got the $27,000 that I got to come up with every month? Do you know who has it? Victoria Blaylock? We do. You do? Yeah. How? Why is that? We're going to make you some money. That, that's one way. That's one way. But who's got my money is other people. I ain't looking at it like I got to come up with this $40,000. How long do you think it's going to take me to pay off this credit card? Those credit cards. How much, we, uh, how much revenue we can generate. That's right. Well, how much? How soon do you think I'm gonna pay them off? Would you be scared shitless right now if all your credit cards were maxed? <laughs> you you got you you got credit. I mean, you got a credit line, but I'm not because I've invested into making this better. So here's what's gonna happen. So you can get better in little bitty increments. You could save a little bit of money, but let me tell you what's going on right now over here. What's going on right now is a surge of greatness. Do you know what I mean by that? See, I'm investing in all these little things around here. I've got more space. I've got more people. My people are getting better. I'm getting better. Now, whenever this turns over for the good, it's going to be so big, it's going to wash away all these debts just like that. It's going to happen just like that. I've got a ping pong pay table. I do have that. That thing's going to make me money. It's going to get other people's money. But listen to me. If I had to do this all on my own, it would take me forever to pay off this much money. It would take me forever. But when you've got the six months max, that's what Ronnie says. Hey, I'm going to pay it off faster than that. You do have the best peeps. Hey, Karyon. Karyon said we've got the best. I appreciate that. But think about this. Think about this, Victoria. There's a reason why I want y'all in here listening to me. Not that I'm the greatest, although I like to hear it. So let's say on a scale from zero to 10, that right now, where would you say I am? Six, five? About six, seven. All right. Where would you say you are, Smalls? Oh. Be honest. I'll, two. Ginger, where are you? Three. Three? You're better than Smalls. <laughs> Victoria, where are you? Well, I would have rated you higher than a six. Man, when I'm around people, Grant Cardone showed how much money he made last year, $55 million. I'm, I'm really a two. 
but I appreciate the six. Well, then I have a lot of zero. Well, okay, but see, imagine this. Imagine if I could scale this out and there's 20 people here at a six. You want to talk about making real money. But see, I've got to be able to fade all the fear that comes to me every single day. And the one person that helps me do that the most is the weatherman. There's a reason why I keep that guy by me because he's like, dude, you can do this. Hell yeah, you can do this. You can do this simple. And I'm like, Hannah, can can I'm like a little puppy dog looking back up. Are you sure? <laughs> hey, today is Tyrone Duke's birthday. I think it's Moon Guy's birthday. Happy birthday to everybody out there, uh, especially those two. I know Weatherman is going to get Tyrone right now. So, Mr. Tyrone Dukes, happy birthday, my man. Hey, Mama, thank you for getting Hey, my mama's on here. I'm glad she wasn't on here to watch all this. Because she'd be calling me up, won't know, what the hell have you, what are you doing, boy? What, what kind of thinking is, here's what I'm telling you, okay? You can stay small, and you can be conservative, and you're still going to struggle. Staying small, there's a struggle. Getting big, there's a struggle. I would rather get big and struggle because one day, like I'm saying, it may be this month. This month may come along. I mean, I think we got 22 deals on the board right now. This month may pay for all this stuff. All the struggle, all the things. Me and Kathleen last year were sitting around. Last year was bad. You know, and I quit talking about how bad it was, but we would just laugh about how bad it was. That's I'm what, serious. That's what baby, that's the, the man is saying on here. The real estate madman? Yeah, he says that he always has the little guy sitting on his shoulder saying there's another slowdown coming. The little guy, man, he's he's the guy I turn to. He's who I want to talk to. I got to force myself not to hear him. When the slowdown comes, if I'm small, it's going to be even harder on me. I need, I need 20 people here with us that are helping us get better, that are trying. You know, if I can get everybody here better, Think about how think about how that could change everything. So here's today's topic. If you really want to go into business, if you really want to get bigger, you're gonna to have to understand your uh mama, don't watch it. If you if you want to go into business, understand you're going into a deferred compensation agreement where you're gonna get paid later. Your money's coming later, and the more you take on the front end, the less you get paid on the on the back end. Little, little now, more later has been what I, I, because I'm not interested in selling 100 homes. 100 homes does not excite me. You know what does? I put this out about a month ago. I'm 25% away to the goal. And people thought, man, that's awesome. That's great. It's only the first quarter. No, they didn't know what I was talking about. We're 25% away from 100 million. One year, we're going to do 100 million. That's four times, that's four times bigger. Need to have some reserves, friend. Why do you need to have reserves? That's see, that's comfort. That's why do you really need it? You need a buffer zone. Do you really? I, well, Man, when you, when you have those buffer zones, what happens when you go to Sir Pizza Buffet and you get full? <laughs> Are you and if I offered you something two hours later, would you want it? Not. You wouldn't. Whenever you've got money in the bank, you don't <clears> want more money. There's an agreement that you've got with yourself. Whenever you know you've got to go out there and make money, the reason why it's hard to go get money is because you're not committed to making more money. When you get committed to making more money, you'll find a creative way to get it. If I told you, Smalls, a life or death situation is going to happen unless you produce me $20,000 by next Friday, I guarantee you you'd find a way to get it. There's a way. When there's commitment... When there's commitment, you'll find creativity. That's 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 what happens. Whenever, you know, these forecasters with the economy will say, well, look, we're going to be here if uh, in such and such time. The reason why they're never right is they don't understand humans, how they react whenever they're in time of struggle. You just never know. This will never work because of this. Well, the behavior changes whenever you're, whenever you're squeezed. I put money on me and my business, no luxury stuff. That's good. That's good. But money sitting, money sitting somewhere does you no good. Money sitting just, if it ain't in motion, it ain't helping you. So all my money has gone to, I just told you where all my money's gone. I put all my money back into this, back into me. And I'm putting my time back into you guys because I want y'all to get great.
Now look, we'll follow this story. We'll see how it plays out. I might be a guy in September like, damn, I wish I wouldn't have done that. I wish I, would, <laughs> I, wish I wouldn't have spent all that money. David, you're right. <clears throat> how long have I been going? Is this good? Spice picked the topic today, by the way. Well, I'm back. I'm inspired. Knowing there's $40,000, I you know what I got to do? I got to get on the phone. I got to call people. I got to create something because I'm not going to pay. Hey, you know how much of this $40,000 I'm going to pay off? Can anybody guess how much I'm going to personally pay off of that $40,000? All of it. No, I ain't. I ain't paying off none of it. I ain't. Somebody else is going to pay it off. You know how I'm going to get them to do it? Yes. Stay with me. Well, uh, how am I going to get? Somebody's got that money. Somebody out there is going to pay this off for me. Now, the way I'm going to do it is going to be my effort. It's going to be my skill. It's going to be my hustle. I'm going to go out there and get the money, and it's going to be paid off, and we're going to be here in June singing Kumbaya, unless a better opportunity comes along. And I'm like, Kathleen, we need to do We got to do this. Come on. Well, I'm going to get more Instagram followers if I do this. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't. But everybody, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to have a big plan. Don't be afraid to give up. I mean, don't, don't give up. Don't give up on what that big plan is. Keep fighting through. And if you're committed, do the hustle. Curry, hey, let's talk about her. You know, I guarantee you to go from where she was. I think at one time she's probably, uh, well, of course, she started off at zero in the mortgage industry because she got into the business. She's at zero. I think she did have a good first year, she said. But she's done some things. She's risked some things to get to $170 million. You don't just get there by hard work. Hard work gets you so far, but Carrion is a great marketer. To be a good marketer, you've got to be willing to risk something that may not pay you back. And she has a whole radio show. And she's got her, well, she's, I mean, she's risked all these things. She does all these things. See, mm -hmm. if you were to probably look at what she spends money on, you'd probably be like, man. But she spends this money, let's just say if it's $1,000, which she probably spends a whole lot more than that in a day on stuff. She knows if I spend this amount of money right here, it's going to give me this much back. But it's so hard to see this when it's coming out of you, when it's coming out of your bank account. Hey, we're going on your credit card. It's easier to on your credit card for some reason. But whenever the money comes from you, you feel like you've lost it. You don't understand how the comeback is, the surge. She'll turn this $1,000 into maybe $5,000. That's surging. Everybody, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Share the love. If you're on here, share my stream.